Hi, I'm Danny, and today I will be showing you how to make a simple moving or animated Instagram ad, like this. I've been seeing these all over Instagram, whether as an image, GIF, or full video, and either on a brand's account or as paid promotions. I know they are usually created using Photoshop. You can use them to showcase products, advertise sales, and so much more. This tutorial will show you how to easily create your own GIF style ad on PowerPoint without sacrificing quality, time, or money. Before we begin, you're going to need to have changed your computer settings to save all images and videos exported from PowerPoint in high resolution and know how to get custom pixel sized PowerPoint slides. To keep my videos short and straight to the point, I've created a separate tutorial entirely dedicated to these two things. It will be linked here and in the description box. These things are not difficult to do, but you need to have watched and completed this tutorial before following most of my other tutorials to ensure a perfect final product. You'll also need to have basic PowerPoint animations knowledge. With that being said, first you're going to resize your slide according to the exact dimensions provided by the converter. Again, all of this is explained in my other video. Open the Excel file, and the resolution we'll need is the standard size for Instagram files, which is 1080 by 1080 pixels. Once we get the correct measurements based on your DPI, open PowerPoint, click on Design, Slide Size, Custom Slide Size, and input the width and height provided. Click OK, and if it asks you if you want to maximize or ensure for the fit of your content, always choose Maximize. Now our slide is the correct size and square shape. Next, you're going to design your ad. Now, because this is not a design tutorial, I won't spend a bunch of time going through how I created this particular example design. However, if you would like a full tutorial on this design or one similar to it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. You're going to want your completed design to be the final product of your ad that you would choose as the still image that appears on your Instagram account, meaning that I'm going to design the entire ad before animating it. You can make this as simple or as intricate as you'd like. I plan for this tutorial to be more of a simple, under 10 second animation, but I'd like to create a separate tutorial for a longer ad with more advanced animations. So if you'd be interested in seeing that, make sure to let me know. Then, once your design is complete, add animations to make it come to life. You don't have to add animations to the entire design, it's entirely up to you. I decided that I wanted this example ad to start with a blank canvas, but again, you can choose to simply have the text appear. For this design, I used entrance effects for each object since I wanted to start with a blank slate. Then I used a few emphasis effects later on to highlight the main points of my ad. Some quick tips while animating your ad would be to avoid using too many exciting entrance effects. The simpler, the better. This is because you have a few seconds to capture the attention of your audience, so each animation should occur quickly in succession. Open the animation pane and make sure the advanced timeline is showing. This way you can easily adjust the time each animation begins and ends. Also, make sure the duration of each animation is not too long. Most of mine were about half a second. The appear entrance effect that I used multiple times has an automatic duration, so you can't adjust it. As you can see, all of my animations begin a little before the prior one is complete by selecting for it to start with previous and adding a slight delay, or they begin automatically after by selecting for it to start after previous. This ensures that my final product is smooth and interesting to watch. Lastly, save and share your moving ad. Go to File, Export, Create a Video. Don't try to save it as a GIF file because PowerPoint will save it as a still image. 
I chose Ultra HD for best quality, but you can go as high as you'd like. You don't need to use any recorded timings because we're only using one slide in this simple animation tutorial. Quick tip, if you have additional slides that you don't want to delete, simply right click on the slide and click hide slide so it doesn't appear in the exported video. Another tip, if you want the final design to play for a bit before Instagram automatically loops your video to the beginning, would be to change the seconds spent on each slide to an amount longer than your total animation time. Your total animation time can be found on the animation pane. My animation is about six seconds long, so I'm going to input eight seconds. Then once I'm uploading my ad to Instagram, I can cut it down as much as I'd like using Instagram's video editing tools. Click create video, name your file, and make sure it saves as an MP4 file, which is a format that Instagram supports. Then share your ad on Instagram, and if you have a business account, this would be the perfect ad to pay to promote it to reach a larger targeted audience. That's it. To quickly recap, first resize your slide to 1080 by 1080 pixels. Next, design your ad. Then animate your design using entrance and or emphasis animation effects. Lastly, export your ad as an MP4 file and upload it to Instagram. Remember to let me know if you'd like to see a separate tutorial on how I created and animated this particular design. And if you'd like to see another tutorial on how to create a more advanced moving Instagram ad using entrance, emphasis, exit, and motion animation effects. And we're done! A simple moving Instagram ad created entirely on PowerPoint. No Photoshop needed. Side note, if this all seems a bit too complicated or time consuming, I am a graphic designer and I would love to do the work for you at a fraction of the price many designers charge. If you're interested, my business info is in the description box below. Thanks for watching. I've included a lot more information in the description box, so be sure to check that out. Please give this video a thumbs up to let me know it was helpful. Comment any suggestions you may have for future tutorials. I love a challenge. And let me know if you have any questions. I'll make sure to respond. I'm the PowerPoint Queen and I will see you next week with a new video. In the meantime, you can watch my last videos and subscribe for more great tutorials. Bye!